Hey, what is up guys? My name is Oleg, this is Blind. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and like the content, please subscribe so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. Plus, you'll be joining a community of really awesome people. In today's video, I'm going to do a review of the most affordable titanium case automatic watch on the market right now. This right here is the Castle Cavado. Uh, they are still live on Kickstarter. I think they're about 80 to 85% funded, so they're gonna get funded for sure. And this watch starts at $150 if you pre-order through Kickstarter. Thank you Castle Watches for sending me this watch in for review. Now I gotta tell you, this is a prototype watch, so it's not a full version yet. This is not a final version yet. And as I do a review, I will point out some of the things that will be different in this version versus the final version that people will be getting, uh, I think early January, February of 2019. So it's coming soon. So let's get started with the review and see if this watch is any good. So here's the Castle Cavado the most affordable titanium case automatic watch on the market right now. Let's start this review, as always, by looking at the basic dimensions. We have a diameter of 42 and a half millimeters, a lug to lug width of 50 millimeters, a lug width of 22 millimeters, and the thickness of almost 12 millimeters. So this review has been highly anticipated and I was waiting to get this watch in for review for a long time ever since Castle has announced that they are working on this watch. If you remember a few months ago, I did a review of their Castle Corbel SL2. That video can be of course found on the channel. So this watch comes in a few different color combinations and color options. Uh, to be honest, this white dial one wouldn't be my first choice. I'd probably go for the blue dial version. I think that looks really awesome. And I think that waffle dial really complements the blue color. Uh, but I got sent this one for review, so I can't complain. Let's take a look around the case. So you have a titanium case, which is awesome. The watch is quite light. It's all brushed finish on the case. The brushing is done really nicely. Yeah, it looks great. We have curved in lugs. Uh, the case shape Kind of reminds me a lot of their previous model however that was stainless steel and this is titanium we also have this crown at the three o'clock position it's kind of an onion shaped crown with the signed castle logo cool touch and we also have this bezel now the bezel on the version that i have the prototype doesn't rotate because it is a prototype version however the final version the final product will have unidirectional 120 click rotating diver style bezel. The bezel design is great. I like this simplistic, minimalistic look. Little castle logo on the top, nice touch. Taking a closer look at this dial, you can see it has a waffle texture to it. Looks really cool. Again, I wouldn't have chosen the white dial on my watch. I'm just not a huge fan of white dials. I think the blue dial would look cooler on this uh, specific watch. But hey, to each their own. I do have one suggestion about this dial. It is a fully metal dial. I do wish the waffle texturing was slightly smaller. You can see that the indents, in my opinion, are a little too large. That's just my opinion. Maybe some of you will disagree. Purely aesthetic. We also have applied indices for all the hour markings. There's that date window between the five and four. And there's the castle logo also applied. Now, one thing I'm gonna mention, this watch will come with a date and no date options. So that's a really good touch. I wish more companies did that. The set of hands look pretty good, a little bevel to them. They're all metallic. And I think one of the stretch goals will be once it's reached. So I think right now the campaign is $40,000 they need to raise. They're really close to it. So I have no doubt in my mind that they will reach that uh, goal. And I think uh, the next goal either 45 or 50,000, and that will include loom on the tips of the hands. It will also include higher water resistance. So this watch right here as is, will have a 50 meters of water resistance, which is too bad because this is a diver's watch. And a diver's watch should have, in my opinion, at least 200, but 100, the very, very minimum. So it having 50 meters of water resistance, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, however, Castle are gonna address that, so once their 
specific goal is reached or maybe later down in production they will increase that to uh, 100 meters of water resistance however they did say that that will increase the overall thickness of the watch so probably from almost 12 to maybe 13 millimeters i think it's a worthy sacrifice since this is a diver style watch all right so we do have a see-through case back here now if you have a good eye you probably noticed that on the case back it says that it is a stainless steel case back so originally castle wanted to do this watch in stainless steel but kind of last minute they decided to do a uh, titanium version so the case back is still from the stainless steel version however that will be changed in a final version the one that you will receive if you do decide to order one of these watches and that will have a titanium case back seiko nh35 movement i mean okay i don't really have to go into this movement at all we are all familiar with it is the choice for a lot of micro brands and uh, it is accurate robust reliable doesn't need too much servicing so for your 150 us dollars you will have an option of two different straps so mine actually arrived on this nato strap castle signed tank buckle and uh, it didn't have the leather strap with it however i still had the leather strap from my previous uh, castle watch that i reviewed so i put it on this watch and i gotta tell you it looks a hundred times better in my opinion at least on the leather strap as it does on the NATO. All right, so what are my final thoughts on this watch? Uh, well, I do like it. Uh, the design is very unique, very original. However, there are negatives. This is not a perfect watch by any means. And again, to get the price to 150 US dollars for a titanium case automatic watch with sapphire crystal, by the way, the sapphire crystal is nice and flat, you have to make some shortcuts, uh, sacrifices, etc. So let me point out some of the negatives and some of them I already pointed out previously. Number one is the fact that there is no loom on the dial as of right now. That is a stretch goal, but I got to judge the watch as is right now. So no loom on the dial, kind of too bad for a diver style watch, which brings me to the point number two, 50 meters of water resistance. Sure, that will be bumped up to 100 meters. I have no doubt about that. Uh, so that's good, but I mean, 200 is where I'd like it to be. Number three, the texturing on the dial. I do wish it was a bit of a smaller pattern. That's just a personal preference. Maybe I'm wrong. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, number four, kind of a smaller complaint is the fact that the uh, minutes hand doesn't reach all that far. I'd like it when it reaches almost the outer minute track. Now I understand that there is no minute track on this specific design and I think it really works for this design, but I do wish it had a bit of a longer minutes hand. Other than that, it's a great watch. Uh, Castle is doing some fantastic things with uh, this watch, with uh, making uh, something unique, something different for a micro brand that's very rare. I gotta applaud them for it. And the overall aesthetic of the watch, I do like, I do appreciate. It's more of a desk diver than an actual tool diver watch, and there's nothing wrong with that. We all need one of those desk divers in our collections. Let me put it on a NATO strap just to show you the difference. Here's what the watch looks like on the NATO strap. Uh, the NATO strap is of great quality and it looks okay. But again, my preference would be on the leather strap. I think it looks better. It looks a little bit more sophisticated, but I do understand if you prefer this look and the watch is not too thick, so you can definitely wear it on the NATO strap. And here's what the watch looks like on the NATO strap on my seven and a quarter inch wrist looks great it's very light on the nato strap because the watch is of course titanium which is a lighter metal than stainless steel on the leather strap it looks great it's very comfortable i complimented these leather straps before as they are of a really good quality all right guys so that was the full review for castle cavetto the most affordable titanium case automatic watch on the market right now i gotta applaud castle for trying something new trying something different i really like what they're doing as a company because so many many brands out there just do the same old thing they do homage to the same 10 watches they uh, change the design slightly and release it as a new model versus castle here trying an original design doing something different with having it in a titanium case so well done castle i appreciate you watching this video until the end please leave a comment in the comment section below let me know what you think about this watch are you pre-ordering one 
Are you waiting for the final release before you make up your mind? Are you just erasing this one from your wish list? Leave those thoughts in the comment section. I'm always curious to see them. By the way, today on my wrist, I'm wearing a Pantor Nautilus. I just did an unboxing of this watch. That video can be found on the channel. And now I'm going through the testing phase. So I'll report back to you with the full review in a few weeks to come. Also in the description of this video, there is a secret link. What a secret link is, is me basically going out every week and finding either good deals on watches, interesting watches, watch accessories, etc. And sharing those finds with you guys without having to make a separate video about each one of them. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.